When we last said goodbye, we had just completed the Marple flight and were turning left to join the Upper Peak Forest Canal. Before we continued our journey, we moored up and were visited by a film crew. Can't tell you why at the moment, but watch this space. The Upper Peak Forest Canal was completed in 1800. It's an out and back trip from Marple Junction to Whaley Bridge, with an option to go down the arm at Bugsworth Basin, a total of about six and a half miles. Up on the hill overlooking the Goit Valley, the views are stunning. Could this become our favourite waterway? When we reach New Mills, we pass the factory of Swizzles, one of the oldest sweet companies in the world, who have been making sweets since 1928 and moved here in 1940 following the Blitz in London. They are famous for such brands as Palmer Violets and invented Love Hearts and Drumsticks, amongst others. There really was a heady smell of sweets in the air.
Just after Bridge 36, we bear left and head for Bugsworth Canal Basin. We arrive in Bugsworth and immediately set about finding a mooring spot. The huge limestone quarries at Dub Holes was one of the main reasons that the Upper Peak Forest Canal was built. The quarries, however, were 1,000 foot above sea level and it was impossible to take the canal to that level. So instead, a six and a half mile tramway was built and carts such as this were used to bring the precious limestone down to the basin. The limestone was either placed in canal boats for onward transportation or burnt on the site in these lime kilns, the remains of which we can still see. Seeing the peace and tranquillity here, it's really hard to imagine it, but once this was a bustling hive of activity. Today it's just a lovely place to wander around, look at what the trade boats have to offer and just enjoy the peace and quiet. Another attraction at the basin is the Navigation Inn, now almost as famous as its former owner, Pat Phoenix, Elsie Tanner from Carnation Street. We had a meal and were really pleased that it was also quiz night. The Upper Peak Forest Canal terminates at Whaley Bridge, only a mile or so from Bugsworth Basin. So while we were here, we walked along to check out the town. Whilst here, we saw evidence of the CRT topping up the water levels from the River Goit, made necessary as essential work was being carried out on Toddbrook Reservoir. At the very end of the canal in Whaley Bridge, there's this unique working shed. It combines a covered area for a road, a canal, and on the far side, a railway track for the transition of goods from one vehicle to another.
Eventually our journey brings us back to where we started at the top of the Marple flight. Only this time we're going to turn left under the bridge to start the next leg of our journey on the Macclesfield Canal. Hope you can join us. We hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.